It's all about making sure for those 12 guaranteed opportunities that we have that we can perform at the highest level. Like nothing else matters. Welcome back to the Notre Dame football preseason special. Marcus Freeman is about to begin his second season as the head coach at Notre Dame. Yes, and he's quick to admit that he is a different coach than he was in year one. I recently sat down one on one with Freeman. His growth on the job, one of the many topics we discussed in our preseason conversation. I can see that you're much more comfortable right now than you were at this point a year ago, coach. Um, what didn't you know a year ago that you know now? Uh, you have to go through it, right? And, and you can have somebody hand you a book. You can see it from outside looking in. But the experience, it's, it's going through the actual experience of being a head coach that there's no replica for it. And so that's the, the thing about it. as you go into year two, I don't have every answer, but I know what it being a head coach at Notre Dame is like. Where do you feel more prepared than, than a year ago, whether it's practice, games, probably all of the above? I think being able to have a feel for your team and what they need. Um, last year, I kind of did everything based off of a, a blueprint that I had put together. And, um, this year, you, you have a feel for your team. You can adapt and adjust in terms of practice expectations, in terms of you know exactly what you're doing during the practice, what you're doing when you're not practicing. You can really get a feel for what your team needs. Uh, we've noticed, at least I've noticed, a, a difference in your demeanor on the practice field, um, different from last year. I, I know that was deliberate. Why did you feel like you needed to make a little bit of a change in terms of just the way you deliver your message and maybe sometimes the sense of urgency you convey to your team? Well, I think it's, you know, again, everything you say and everything you do is intentional. And, um, you know, I know you guys aren't at every practice, but mm -hmm. some of the practices you guys are at, there's something that, that I want to get across to the players. And uh, it's a, a focus I want for them to have that day. And, um, you know, I think that's what you guys have been able to see at being at some of the practices. Um, but, again, it, it's what does the team need that day? And... Again, I think I have one year of experience um, to have a better feel for, hey, this is what I think our team and our group needs this day. Do you always walk into practice thinking you know what that is, or do you sometimes, does it sometimes come to you as they're stretching or, th yeah. or throughout the session? It can come to me at all different times, <laughs> and uh, that can be in a meeting, that can be at night, um, it can be in stretch lines. And so that's why I'm very intentional about going through the lines and saying hello to the players or just seeing how they're doing. and. You can get a feel from certain guys, I think, what the team needs. We're midway through camp right now. Do you feel like their demeanor, their performance has been what you wanted so far? Yeah, they've done a, an excellent job. And I told them, man, the, the way they've worked um, and really just rising to every expectation we've had as a coach um, and coaching staff has been tremendous. And uh, they, they're working their tails off, and I'm, I'm really pleased with the work of this group. Uh, you have a new offensive coordinator this year. Uh, how, how does your offensive philosophy mesh with what Jared wants to do? Well, I think it's, it's, it's very um, aligned, you know, and, and I have a vision of, of being multiple on offense. And I want to make sure we put our players in the best positions to have success. I want to be able to run the ball because I believe um, from my background as a defensive coordinator that if an offense has the ability to run the ball, now you open up major areas in the pass game. That's my mentality is, is when I think about what I want our Notre Dame offense to be, I want it to be the ability to run the ball to create um, openings in the pass game. Your background is with defense, but as the head coach, you're responsible for everything. Do you find as time goes on, you're more and more involved, the more and more comfortable being involved in the offensive side of things? Yeah, I think I'm getting more and more comfortable with all phases of, of football, right? I spent a lot of time with the special teams, um, you know, and, and time with the offense and, and the defense. And so um, I'm going to spend majority of my time with the defense because that's where my background is. But um, making sure that all three phases are aligned with, with our vision of what it takes to have success is most important. Uh, Sam Hartman makes it look easy. I know it's <laughs> not easy, but I mean, is he that good? Uh, he's pretty special. Um, but more than anything, he's experienced. And so when things don't go well, you won't be able to tell by his demeanor because he's been through it all. You know, you're talking about a six year of college football and a mature guy that just turned 24 years old. Um, he's been through the highs and the lows. And so um, the thing I love about Sam is he's consistent in his approach to the game. Does he give you guys an opportunity to make the playoffs that you probably don't have without him? Um, 
yeah, I think he, he brings a, 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 a ability to our, our team to, to be successful. What the result of that is, is I don't like trying to, to, to cap our team and saying, hey, we're, we're going to win a national championship. We're mm -hmm. going to make the playoffs. Like, you know what? I think he raises the potential of our team. And our job as coaches is to get our team to reach its full potential. But having Sam Hartman as our quarterback, to me, increases that potential. As you look over the next three months ahead, how difficult is the schedule in front of you guys? I know week one or week zero this year is, is Navy, and uh, that's going to be a challenge. And I, I mean, you're lying if you haven't taken a peek at the entire season, and, and that's Notre Dame, right? We're going to play the best of the best teams across the country, um, and it's always going to be a challenging schedule. But our focus has to be to make sure we start the season off the right way and we're ready to roll in Dublin, Ireland. I'm Pete Byrne from WSBT 22 News. For more Notre Dame stories, like and subscribe to the WSBT 22 YouTube page. Thanks for watching.